Hi everyone, my name is Lynn and I help people connect to their truest self. So today's video is going to be all about three different types of star seeds. Now I was very reluctant to make this video and even talk about it because I know that people along this awakening journey or people who even identify with star seeds, like this makes sense to you guys. This this topic isn't anything new, it doesn't even sound strange, it's just simply like, yeah, that's what it is. But for other people that um, may not be along this journey or who don't resonate with these ideas or concepts or understandings, um, it would be extremely strange and just weird just extreme just so weird and so i was really reluctant to make this video but i was like you know what i feel i feel very connected to my star seed origin today and so i just wanted to talk about it talk about the different waves the different types of star seeds that will be um currently here so what are star seeds? I won't go too much into it because there is so much out there, so many videos, so many things on different websites about what star seeds are. But just a quick overview basically, star seeds are um, interdimensional beings or light beings coming from various origi origins throughout the universe uh, with the main purpose and mission of helping um, Earth ascend to its next consciousness level basically. And so these star seed origins are, are light beings. Um, that are coming from uh, high dimensions and so they're using their knowledge and energy to help the process on earth so yes so that's that i won't go too much about it and how do you know if you're a star seed now if you're having questions like am i a star seed or maybe i think i am a star seed or a star seed sounds pretty cool you know i guess i am you're probably not so <laughs> um it's more of a star seed is something that you just it's a deep knowing it's an instant yes there is no questions about it no one can take that knowing away from you it's such strong pull now that was the feeling that i got when i first came across the term and the idea of the star, star seed and so my life basically flipped inside out and things just made sense to me so yes yeah, so you will know if you are a star seed um there is no question about it and just before i go on i like to say that um i don't think star seeds if you are a star seed or indigo or rainbow children or any of those sorts of labels because they are at the end of the day just labels i don't think they're a better or worse than anything else it's just for me um, having this identification or knowledge just really helped me understand my process here on earth and my purpose and journey as well so hopefully um, that's what um, that's what it did for you guys as well so hopefully this video helps flesh out some of the meanings as well so yeah so let's get right into it so the first type of star seed is considered the first wave and this wave is sometimes called the way showers now this first wave of star seeds um, does extend from a very large period so it's not just the first wave within the 21st century but it goes back ages and ages to the times where there's archetypes and sages and all those sorts of things um, to this very current present day and the first wave of star seeds isn't limited by age so you could be a first wave of star seed that's 15 years old um, or you could be a first wave of star seed that is currently 60 or 70 years old now the first wave of star seeds, I do think they have a really hard job, a tough job to do. They've, they've put their hands up for a really big mission and their purpose here is to shine the light amongst the darkness. So if you are a first wave of star seed, you will know, you will identify with being the only light amongst the darkness in your life. And what I mean by that is, is you're most likely born into a family or an environment that um, has very or to a uh, very little or to none uh, awakening souls or awakening individuals basically you are the only one in that current family or environment at that time that is waking up or shining the light and the reason for that is because the mission of the first wave of star seeds is to release any karmic depths from their cycles so they have the hard job of uh, releasing all of the traumas releasing all of the emotional blockages from not just their generations or their parents generations but even from the generations before that so the whole entire family system basically so yes they have a really tough job but um because of that you notice that within the first wave if you are first wave starseed you notice that you go for periods where um 
uh, basically you're unpacking so many different things from you and you put things that you probably didn't even know um, was in you and it's most likely in you because of just family history or history within that environment so yeah so as a first way of starseed you are the one light shining amongst the darkness in order to release um, and let out any of the comics uh, comic depths in your cycle and the reason that is is because we want to release all of the karmic depths, or most, not all, most of the karmic depths, so that it isn't passed on to the next generations. And that's part of the ascension process in order to raise our consciousness. Because we can't raise our consciousness if we continue to live inside this karmic cycle where we um, continue to experience our blockages and traumas and all those sorts of things. So, yes, so the first wave of Starseed um, does have a really big job, a really big job on hand. And sometimes um, it takes them a few lifetimes, so not necessarily one lifetime but it takes them a few takes tries basically but yes so one of the other things or traits of a first wave of star seed is that they most likely will be in contact with uh so let's say uh, let me take back um if you're an older age first wave star seed you most likely will be in contact with a younger age star seed so the purpose of that is to show the first wave of star seeds um to connect with their inner consciousness or their higher consciousness, their origins and the special abilities that they even carry around without knowing. So the older first wave of Starseed um, is just simply helping connect with the younger first age Starseed um, to shine the light so that the first wave younger Starseed um, continue to shine their light. So they're just acting as a bit of a, uh, a guidance, a, uh, a guide in our current earth plane um, to help the younger first wave navigate through a bit more smoothly so so yeah so being a first wave you might be the only one in your family that um, is really connected to your spiritual um, inner being of growth um, you might be the only one that's um, maybe interested in healing or energy um, uh, and all those sorts of things so yes you will be kind of the black sheep um, but don't be afraid <laughs> there is a purpose and mission for it so the second wave of star seeds would basically be the wave that's I like to call it the rebels or the rebellions so this is the wave where um, they are currently on earth right now along with um, the first wave so the first and second waves are still here um, and they'll continue on for many many years decades centuries basically so the second wave are the people the young people in particular um, the ones that rebel against societal norms societal systems so what you'll see them as the ones that's considered the naughty kids in school or the ones that just question everything the ones that don't simply absorb information and take it for what it's given they simply question everything so if you were to uh, if someone was to tell them do this do this do that they will most likely say why why do I have to do this what's the purpose of this what's the point in this they will question everything and because of that teachers and the school systems and society's whole don't like that and so the second wave of star seeds are most likely the ones that to find themselves in trouble a lot because they are just pushing the boundaries of societal norms and so that's one of their purposes is to push the boundaries to create new lim to create new limits basically pushing beyond what societies think is okay or considered normal in this current energy state so yes so the second wave also don't really see the purpose in ordinary life and because of that they don't tend to have a normal conventional lifestyle so the second wave of star seeds may um kind of adopt a uh like i said an unconventional life so they may find themselves living quite a nomadic life or they may not even enjoy school because they don't they see school as quite a restraint on their self-expression um so they may even drop out of school quite early on feeling lost and confused as to why they don't enjoy school or why they don't resonate it as much as all the other kids um yes they may even push beyond the um societal norms of like the way they eat so a lot of the second wave are vegan um um, perhaps even not taking on conventional jobs uh, so not working working in corporate worlds and all those sorts of things they perhaps even jumping from job to job doing random things things that they uh, feel that they can self-express uh, have self-expression and ones that are allow them to um, experience freedom so yes the second wave is very much all uh, the ones that are rebelling um, doing things on their own um, creating their own realities and um, not fitting in basically I, I do identify uh, not identify I do recognize when I'm 
uh, working as a counsellor, I've come across uh, a small amount of numbers of second waves of star seeds, and they all happen to be diagnosed, and I don't like the term, um, um, with ADHD because Western system doesn't understand um, what's really going on. Oh, I don't know how to put that. But yeah, so yeah, so a lot of them may actually identify as having ADHD, but it's simply because they just don't uh, conform or they don't see uh, the relationship between sitting down in class and um, and growing, basically. They see growth as something that's ex experiential and they want to expand themselves beyond the normal classrooms. So the third wave of star seeds are basically these are the wave star seeds that will be born into most likely an already existing awakening family. So this is the, the this third wave of star seeds will be the wave that is going to continue to shine the light that is already existing. So they're there to expand the light even further. So yeah, so they're most likely born into a family that is uh, already having high level consciousness. So um, they possibly. Um, living a life that is um, already non-conforming to societal norms. So yeah, so the third wave of star seeds are basically ones that you will recognize and I can feel this when I meet them. They are just pure love and light. There is, they are so pure and a lot of them are quite young at this stage and they're most likely the kids that you see. The kids is just pure love and light in their eyes and just their way of being and they most likely have this strange way of talking and feeling as if they are carrying this unlimited or old age knowledge within them and so they might you might see them or recognize them and say how on earth are they saying these things how do they know as a five-year-old or three-year-old they just seem to be carrying so much knowledge and empowering knowledge so yes they're there to shine light they're there to spread love and continue to raise the consciousness of earth today so yes, those are the three different waves of star seeds. So all current three waves are currently here on Earth today and they're still coming through at different times. Um, maybe you guys may identify with some and if you don't, that's okay. Um, hopefully, I know that it's weird, um, particularly if you've never come across the term before, but there are so many people that identify and connect with um, this meaning. So yes, I hopefully that help explain um, a bit more about what star seeds are and what the different waves mean. So yes, that's it for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I will see you guys next week. Bye.